surprise move in the search for Chicago's next police superintendent. Mayor Rahm Emanuel picks his own favorite, veteran police officer Eddie Johnson. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Williams. My Martinez has the night off. The mayor rejected the final three candidates selected by the police board. CBS 2's Derek Blakely is live in the newsroom with a look at Eddie Johnson and how he's viewed by the community. Derek? Jim, Mayor Emanuel isn't the first to do this kind of end run around police board finalists. Mayor Daly did it as well before eventually selecting Jody Weiss. But Eddie Johnson would provide instant credibility with demoralized rank and file cops and with community leaders as well. Eddie Johnson is known as a no nonsense cop, seen last week in a news conference on a paroled felon who shot a police officer. This business of letting them out prematurely is costing the citizens of Chicago. But Johnson's also well regarded in the neighborhoods he served. What I like about him is that he, number one, had a tremendous respect by police, but also by the community. Johnson built a sterling reputation as commander in the 6th District, which includes the high crime Inglewood and Auburn Gresham neighborhoods. What are the attributes that you think Eddie Johnson would bring to the job? And if the citizens had an issue, he would come out and meet with them and devise some systems in order to address the problems that they have. So Eddie starts out with, as someone who is willing to listen. It is not all his way or the highway. Johnson wasn't one of the 39 applicants for the top job, which yielded three finalists. Cedric Alexander of DeKalb County, Georgia, former Spokane police chief Ann Kirkpatrick, and Eugene Williams, CPD's administrative chief. Word is Mayor Emanuel rejected all three and will ask the police board to start over. Now, ultimately, it's his decision because he's going to be the person who is responsible uh, for who the next superintendent is um, in grappling with a lot of these challenges, and he had to be given latitude to do that. Reports confirm the mayor plans to appoint Johnson as interim superintendent, then ask Johnson to apply as part of a new police board search. Father Flager says he talked to Johnson, who says he's honored, but also realizes the big task ahead. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS 2 News. Jim? Derek, thank you. The move